Hello and welcome to this little mini-series where we try to figure out how much time actually passed throughout the Witch series, and we're going to start with Arc 1. Issue 1's release date was April of 2001, but takes place in October, likely Halloween. The day after, Elyon talks to Cedric, and Yan Lin gives the Heart of Kandra card to the girls. The gym fight happens that night. In Issue 2, when the girls are outside Elyon's house, they reminisce that it's been one month since Yan Lin told them of their powers. The flashback takes place the day after the gym event. Then we cut back to the present, where the girls meet at Will's, except for Hei Lin, as Yan Lin is sick. This seems to be the first time they really discuss anything about their powers and show each other some abilities like Tarani's fireballs and Will's ability to talk to electronics. Again, one month later. Back at the Lins, the doctor shares that the flu Yanlin had last month took its toll. Yanlin gives Halen the map of the 12 portals, and Yanlin dies that night. Often, it can take one to two weeks to prepare for a funeral, or so I assumed. The next indication of time passing isn't until issue three when Miss Rudolph asks how Will has been adjusting since she moved here a month ago. The day that Yan Lin was pronounced dead and Hei Lin was told, the girls were discussing that Andrew Hornby has been missing for three days. By the time Irma tells the girls what happened to him, she says it happened about a week ago. This means that Matt and Will, who meet in this issue, meet a month since she arrived in Heatherfield. And that means it only took a day or two to plan Yan Lin's funeral, which is unusually fast, apparently. So at this point, it's likely the end of November, unless the Halloween party wasn't actually on Halloween. The same day that Irma reveals the truth about Andrew, they see Elyon again and follow her home. We see Dormouse was in Will's school backpack all day, and Cordelia and Tarani transform for the first time. And they also get the book that contains the seal of Phobos. Andrew is found. In issue three, likely the Sunday after all of this, the girls are training. Then on Monday, Cornelia saves Will from answering in math class. This is where Miss Rudolph asks how Will's first month has gone. And after school, we see Susan and Dean at a business meeting. Likely the next day being Tuesday, based on everyone's changed clothes, Irma and Haylin decide to skip school that day to spy on Miss Rudolph. They discover her secret identity and drive her away, closing their second portal. But it's the third one they've seen. They didn't actually close the one at Elyon's house last issue. That afternoon, they meet at Cornelia's, where the heart ends up absorbing the seal of Phobos. After that, on Cornelia's porch, that same day, Haylin finally shows everyone the map of the Twelve Portals, where the heart points them back to Elyon's house, and they cross the portal that was never closed. They see Elyon and barely escape Frost. Tarani is left behind. In issue four, by the time they return to save her through the fourth portal in Shell Cave, only one Earth Day has passed. According to her conversation with Ms. Rudolph, we learn that one Earth Day equals about ten days in Meridian. If this is true, then a month being an average of 30 days means that Elyon has been in Meridian for about 300 days, nearly a year. At the opening of issue 5, we see Dormouse is sick from eating cookies. This leads to Will working at the pet shop. There's no clues about how much time has passed since Tarani was saved and the museum incident that we're about to cover. Though Dormouse has to stay at the pet shop for a couple of days, we don't see when he's returned back to Will. If we briefly skip forward to issue 8 when Will is chasing Dormouse through Meridian, she says that she's had him for two months and hasn't named him yet, meaning that everything we're about to see happens in the span of about two months. This could possibly put the museum incident a few days after saving Tarani. Martin takes Irma on a date to the museum where she sees a Meridianite, and the next day they detect a portal there, and that night have an adventure escaping a painting that is also the fifth portal. The same night, Uriah and the gang are assigned three months of community service for breaking into the museum. We learn this a few days later when the girls return to visit the painting. At the opening of issue six, we learn residents of Meridian want to cross the veil, and Vera is training Will. Vera has been a substitute for her normal coach, but we don't know how long. Susan denies her participating in the championships, and Uriah tells Tarani that they now must do a year of community service. Remember, it was originally three months. Later, we learn it's because they were playing baseball around some dinosaur statues. Nigel gets out of this, though. That same day, Cedric is pretending to be Mr. Collins, just for a class period. And we learn that night that Vathic has infiltrated the rebels, and Miss Rudolph returns, saying that she just came back from a vacation, which could have been anywhere from a week to four weeks. I'm going to guess that because the vacation was such short notice and probably sudden that she was only able to get away with taking a week. The same day, Tarani learns to use her telepathic powers to communicate with more than just Will. 
as she did when she was captured by Frost. But she can still only do this trick near the other girls. After a swimming lesson that same day, Will heads to the library to work on her paper that Caledric has assigned. The rest of the group heads to Galgita's house, and she tells them that an invasion will happen at 7 p.m. tonight. So I tried to math the hours to the possibly 10 days that happen in one Earth Day, and it was really complicated. But if we choose to divide 24 hours by 10 days, we get 2.5, which I'm assuming is like 10 groups of two and a half in 24. So making that each day occurring over two and a half hours? Check me on that. It's 5 p.m. and the invasion is expected at 7 p.m. Meaning, while it's two hours here, it's going to be about two days in Meridian. They decide that the bookshop is the place to go, suspecting a portal there. Meanwhile, Will confronts Vera, revealed to be Elyon. Irma saves her and they make it back to the shop. The invasion ends quickly quickly, the sixth portal gets closed, and Will saves Cedric, but they escape. The next morning, Cornelia acknowledges Will's leadership, and Nigel gives Tarani a butterfly. By issue seven, there's snow, so it's likely December now. We see Will at the pet shop, which means it's about a month and a half on the job. She's working two days a week. Nigel picks Tarani up for a date. It's probably been about a week since the invasion. Cornelia finds her diary from last year, where we see a flashback of Elyon giving Cornelia a drawing of Caleb. Cornelia tries to convince the others to join her, but ends up going to Meridian alone. Next, we see Elyon questioning Cedric about why he attacked Will after she spared him. An Earth week here in Meridian is about 70 days, or almost two months, using our previous equation. It's possible that we see this scene of Elyon leaving later than it happened. Maybe she's been having doubts for about a month and then chose to explore Meridian for a week or two, or she's been going in and out of the castle. Cornelia is shown entering Meridian shortly after that, likely having the Elyon scene showing us context for Elyon's state of mind. We also needed time for Caleb to possibly begin leading the movement, since the rebellion seems kind of young and they are looking for leadership. Vathic has also changed in what feels like a week for our girls, but two months makes sense for Caleb to become the leader of the rebellion, and it does seem a little more organized now than we've been seeing it. By the time Elyon and Cornelia cause an earthquake, everyone is still seen doing what they were doing back in Heatherfield when Cornelia left. I'm not going to try to calculate how many hours in Meridian rate relate to hours on Earth, but it does seem like more time is stretched out here in Meridian. The rest of the group presumably meets right after the earthquake. It could have been a few Meridian hours for the fight, Cornelia and Elyon to hide until the soldiers leave, and have their heartfelt conversation, as well as for the rebels to embrace Elyon. The girls enter the seventh portal in the sewers that leads them to where the fight happened. The earthquake that Elyon and Cornelia caused seems to have sent an old palace into Heatherfield's sewer. We get to see pictures of some previous queens. The guards return about the same time that Team With appears, and the fight's quickly over. Cedric appears and says that they've been looking for Elyon for hours. Cornelia and Caleb say goodbye. She assumes that she won't see him ever again. Elyon and Phobos meet for the first time. Three months into the story, but supposedly three years into being in Meridian. And this is where the time exchange doesn't make sense anymore. Though it is important to point out that it hasn't been a complete three months, just that we're now in December, likely the first or second week. Either way, a year or two, or almost two to three months, is a long time for her to have not met Phobos yet. I mean, there must have been all kinds of excuses. In issue eight, it opens up telling us that this coming Sunday is a Carmilla concert. This is where Will reveals having had Dormouse for two months, but it's more likely that she was given him sometime in November and it's just somewhere in December and is just referring to it as two months. By the way, the eighth portal is at the Heather Dome. Meridian having a different time flow is sort of ruined by Elyon saying to herself that Cedric revealed her princess identity to her only a few weeks ago. The time difference was likely an idea from the original creators that was quickly ignored. After after all, issue 7 is the last time we see the name of one of the original creators on the credits of an issue, being Barbara Canepa, leaving as the color and light director. Alessandra Babucci was last seen on layout in issue 5, and Elisabetta was gone from concept by issue 2. Because of this conflict, the time dilation no longer applies. Also, I just want to point out that Cedric refers to himself as an adult in his wing form. Entering issue 9, we see that Christmas is approaching, Christmas music is playing, a sign reads how cold it will be on Christmas, and Holly decorates the school. There's a Christmas tree at Will's, and when they head to Kandrakar for the first time, there are Christmas 
Christmas signs and hats and trees, and a child, back on Earth, later refers to the child from Meridian as one of Santa's elves. The Four Dragons play is a Christmas play that Miss Knickerbocker asked Helen to put on. Issue 9 contains the ninth portal at the train tracks where Rosef's family crosses over. In issue 10, when the detectives start examining Elion's house, it is January. Will and Matt are discussing how that woman Jackie performed at the Lodley Day restaurant or livened it up, whatever that means. Hey Lynn has to help clean up from a New Year's Eve party at the Silver Dragon, and a calendar at Irma's straight up says January. In this issue, the girls help to break everyone out of Meridian's prison at the secret request of Elion. In issue 10, they cross through the still open portal at Elion's house, but Vathic crossed over at the abandoned amusement park, and that portal isn't used by them until issue 11. It's also not closed after they use it. In issue 11, Will references the prison break as having happened a few days ago. The battle with Phobos begins in issue 11, a few days after the prison break. Issue 12 opens after the chaos of the coronation, and the battle likely takes a few hours, and then the veil is taken down in January of 2002. The last issue of the comic actually came out in March of 2002. Therefore, Arc 1 occurs over the course of three to four months, and there were only 10 portals discovered of the promised 12. Catch you next time for Arc 2.